Good morning and happy Sunday, everyone. To all of our Axe family and friends, we love you very much. And those who went home for the summer, we pray that you have had a time of refreshing and that you'll come back strong. Thank you for all your prayers regarding Pastor Tania's pregnancy. She's been doing well. We thank God for that. And just continue to keep us in prayer because we're so excited. We've been receiving great news from the doctors and the baby is healthy. We've just got two more months until our little bundle of joy arrives. So just please continue to keep us in prayer regarding our little baby and, and us all. And as you come back strong, we pray that the Lord just blesses you mentally and keeps you strong in him. But I want to share a word that the Lord has impressed upon my heart. And it's coming from Luke chapter, 5, chapter 16, verse 10. I'll read from verse 10 through 11. Jesus says, he that is faithful also in, in least is faithful also in much. And he that is unjust in the least is unjust also in much. If therefore ye have not been faithful in the unrighteous mammon, who will commit to your trust the true riches? And that was Luke 16 verses 10 through 11. So typically we ask the question, can, can you trust God? But I want to flip that today and ask, can God trust you? And if so, what can he trust you with? Typically we compare ourselves to others and the Bible warns against comparing ourselves to others but we should always be shine the searchlight on our own heart and say what has God blessed me with what do I have and a biblical principle that we should always strive to live by is that everything that I have everything that I own belongs to my creator belongs to the one true God who truly owns everything because without him, I would have nothing, I would be nothing. And so this is a biblical principle that we should always strive to live by. But there are times where our heart wants what we are simply called to be stewards of. We're called to be stewards over what God has given us. So our relationships, our families, things that we own materialistically, the spiritual things, God has entrusted us with these things to fulfill his divine will in our lives. But there are times where our heart begins to get lifted up. We forget about how God has blessed us and we begin to put the things in front of God. But in this passage, it says that he that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much. So what are those things that Jesus has blessed you with today? They may be little things, but are we faithful in them? It doesn't matter how big or small they are. The true question is, are we being faithful in what God has given us? Maybe it's a gift or talent. Maybe God has blessed you with an opportunity. Maybe he's given you the opportunity to get an education. He's given you relationships. He's blessed you abundantly financially. Are we tithing like we should? God only, requ he only requires a tenth of our income. That's what the word tithe means. Not that he needs our money, but most importantly, he wants to know where your heart is do you acknowledge that everything simply comes from him so he that is unjust in least will be all unjust also in much and so are we being just with what god has given us are we being faithful stewards over what he's given us biblical stewardship is being faithful over god's resources no matter what situation we're in so it's his resources and then in verse 11, if you therefore have been faithful in unrighteous mammon, who will commit to you the true riches? Unrighteous mammon, meaning money, money. And money has been used in unrighteousness in our time today, especially in this day. But we want to use it the right way for the kingdom of God. How have you been using your gifts and talents and all that you have for, to build the kingdom of God? Have we been lazy with what he's blessed us with? Or have we really been saying, Lord, how can I use what you've given me? And then the true riches will come when we have been faithful on that lower level. And so my challenge for you today is to look within your own heart and to think about the things that God has blessed you with. Family, friends, relationships, 
materialistic things, your home, cars, all these things. And to say to yourself, have I really given this area of my life to the Lord? Or have I, or do I think that I own all these things? Be honest with yourself in prayer and go to God in prayer and thank him. Thank him for everything that he's given you. Thank him for another day to get it right. If there's an area of our lives we've been working on, maybe our tongues or our attitude, or maybe it's something we've been dealing with to, that, that displeases pleases God. Go to God in prayer and give it to him today so that he can bless us with more. I love you all so much and may you be encouraged.